How to apply filter to your existing messages in your Gmail account. Let's get started. So the first step is to log into your Gmail account. Once you log into your Gmail account, you will see your messages out here. Now I have been getting uh, messages from this vendor very often. So I'll go ahead and apply the changes to this particular email. So first step is to search by inserting the email ID. When you search, you will get all the emails available out here. Now you can click on advanced search and in the from option, put the email ID which you want to be separated. Then go ahead and make the changes if you want to have some specific size email only to be synchronized or how many days older the email should be or all email that is already selected default that you want to synchronize the emails which has attachment or don't include chats. That also is available here. So you can select as per your choice. Now I'll hit on create filter. Now when you hit on create filter, you will see there are multiple options available out here. So the first is to skip the inbox or archive it. So I'll choose this option. So this option means you will get the emails directly to this account. Then the second option is selecting the vendor label. So I'll select the vendor label. If you don't have a vendor label, you can create a new label here directly. So let's suppose I'm going to create a new label by the name of VJ and it's, it's nested under vendor label. That means there is already a vendor label which I have created and I am uh, bifurcating it by another folder that is the name folder. So now I will hit on create. Then I will go ahead and uh, apply this rule called also apply filter to 15 existing conversations, 15 matching conversations. That means the emails which are there sent by this vendor to me. Now I will hit on create filter option. Once I hit on create filter option, I have to wait for some time. If the filter is created, it will come out here as filter created, but it's not created yet. Let me go ahead and check in settings again. So here the filter is created now. Now, if you go to see in the folder label that I just created VJ, I see these emails being already synchronized. So this is how you go ahead and apply changes to your existing conversation. I hope this video was informative. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more such videos. Thank you.